Hello, and welcome back to You Can Hardly Wait, a channel dedicated to documenting my weight loss journey from the beginning stage to the end result. In this week's video, we will be going over week three of my journey. I will be sharing exactly what I ate this last week, uh, the calories consumed, what I did for physical fitness, and at the end of the video, we'll be sharing just how much I lost this week. Now, in the first two weeks, I've managed to lose over 11 pounds, and it's been a good week, and I'm excited to share the results for this week as well. Now, quick disclaimer before we get into it, I just always like to share that I am not a licensed medical professional and I do not have a degree in nutrition. The thoughts and information being shared in this video are of my own and are from various sources that I have accumulated over the years. So, it's also recommended before starting any specific diet or exercise routine to check with your doctor. Now, without further ado, let's get into week three. All right, so starting with Sunday, uh, my boyfriend for dinner made this amazing pasta dish. Um, it has sardines, fennel, golden raisins, uh, pine nuts. It may sound kind of weird, but it was absolutely delicious. Um, honestly, it kind of almost tasted like a, a really elevated, fancy tuna casserole um, in a weird way. And I love tuna, you guys, like way more than anybody should love tuna. And I, I'm not even talking tuna steak, which is, a whole different thing but like canned tuna it's it's ridiculous i wish i could eat it more often but you're not supposed to because of the mercury and whatnot but this delicious meal that my boyfriend made it was so good um he made it with bucatini noodles which are like a really thick noodle and um yeah i i thought it sounded kind of weird at first but then again i like weird food combos like i love pineapple on my pizza i like ketchup on my mac and cheese um I dip my french fries in mayonnaise, so I, I like some weird stuff, I guess you could say. So even when he was describing this to me, I'm like, yeah, knowing me, I'll probably like it. And of course I did. It was delicious. And just a side note, I guess fennel is actually really good for you. I really can't think of a lot of things that I've had fennel um, in. Um, I know a niece is, I think, like a cousin of fennel. But yeah, so just looking at these health benefits, you know, good for your heart, skin, anti-inflammatory, and supposedly good for, for weight loss, um, I might have to try to search for some more recipes that include fennel. And moving on to Monday, uh, we got these um, Alani coffee drinks, and I gotta be honest, I was not a fan of this one. I, I think it tasted kind of bitter, and I know coffee can taste a little bitter, but um, yeah, I just, I gotta be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of this one. And here you'll see me weighing out uh, leftovers from the night before for dinner Monday. And um, if you don't have a food scale, totally get one because they're super cheap. You can get them on Amazon for less than 15 bucks. So they can definitely come in handy because sometimes it's hard to, to guess just how many ounces is in something or even grams. Um, just to get an idea, but yeah, I'm glad I weighed it out because I probably would have given myself twice this portion. Um, I was trying to get to about three ounces. I went a little over that because this pasta was already mixed with olive oil and sardines and, and raisins and other stuff. Um, but I think this was a good portion and, you know, close enough. I was just trying to really measure out like three ounces of just the noodles. And as we move along here, as I've mentioned in other videos, um, I just want to point this out again is that it does look like a lot that you're putting in here when you're you know accounting for all your calories but you can always save meals and that's exactly what I did for that pasta dish Sunday night and so on Monday night I literally just put in the saved meal so I didn't have to list out every single ingredient um, so it definitely makes life a lot easier and makes it go faster when you're trying to input your calories also as we're moving along here I will um continue to show my steps for the day, my water intake, and on most of these days, uh, my sleep performance. Now again, this is not an exact science. I mean, honestly, calories is not an exact science either. Let's just be fair here. And the Fitbit, I'm sure it tracks steps the best it can, but uh, for sleep performance, you know, some days I feel like it's not as accurate as others. Um, you'll see here on a later day this week that sometimes it doesn't accurately, accurately uh, monitor your sleep as well and won't give you like a full in-depth breakdown and some days I just I, I throw it off because it's bugging me as I'm falling asleep most days it, it doesn't bug me but so most of these days I'll input or I'll include my sleep performance but not on all of these days 
and moving on to Tuesday, uh, more leftover pasta and also had an Alani new um, protein bar. And these were actually really good. Um, they have different flavors. I think I've tried most of them so far. And I really like the munchies uh, flavor. They have a munchies flavor shake, which is really good too. But um, of all the, the protein bars that I've tried, I've always liked Lara bars. Those have always kind of been my favorite. But yeah, these are really good. Moving on to Wednesday, uh, more overnight oats that I have talked about in previous videos. And um, we usually do these on Wednesday because that's the day that my boyfriend goes into the office and it's just easier to, to make a quick breakfast the night before. So he has something to grab before going to work. And uh, gave into temptation on this day and ended up ordering Pizza Hut, as you will see in this next video. All right. So I am starving today. I am down probably at least 12 pounds by now. It was 11 last time I checked on Sunday. I have been working out consistently. consistently. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've worked out the last four days. Today was a crazy day with work. I have not been able to do anything work out, but I ate healthy. I have had like maybe 400 calories today. So this happened. I have decided to get some Pizza Hut to reward myself, but I am not gonna go crazy. See this, I'm eat half of that. Normally I could eat like four slices of pizza easy and I will have one breadstick with like a fourth of this pasta, half a cup of ranch, half a cup of blue cheese, probably a couple cups of marinara sauce to go with these. And eh, probably let's say, probably, three wings. Yeah, there's six of these. So I'll do three wings and like a third of that soda. And I'll still eat less than 2000 calories today. So don't think I'll probably lose anything today technically, but I will maintain and get back tomorrow with a workout routine and have these leftovers tomorrow and make sure I'm still closer to that 1600 calorie goal for the day. And I guarantee you, I will still lose weight this week and I got to eat Pizza Hut. So it's a good day. And here you actually see a picture of what I ate and ordered because I sucked at filming in that last video and you couldn't really see what I ordered. But um, you'll see I had half of that calzone, couple wings, small portion of pasta, small portion of soda. So a reasonable amount for, for a dinner um, compared to half a pizza, wings, dessert, soda that I would normally do. Um, definitely, you know, a lot better. So. You know, it's it's a process, you know, recovering from food addiction and binge eating, um, you know, some days are easier than others, but definitely trying to cut down on my portions. And so despite the fact that I did order Pizza Hut, I was proud of myself for not overdoing it with what I ate that night. Moving on to Thursday, I had another Alani new energy drink as a peach flavor. And I got to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of this one either. Um, you know, my favorite, uh, favorite flavors that they have done is the caramel apple one that they had last Halloween, which was like the best flavor of ener any energy drink I've ever had in my life. Um, they also have a rocket pop flavor, which is really good, but I kept seeing advertisements for this new peach one. And I just gotta be honest, I wasn't really a fan of it. Um, and then of course you'll see the portion of leftover pizza, a couple wings and salad, pretty reasonable meal and then leftover soup and bread pudding for dinner, which brings us to our recipe of the week, which is a summer squash soup. And this is such an easy recipe. I mean, aside from peeling the skin off of the squash and baking it, that's the hardest part. Aside from that, it's super easy to make and super worth it. It's really delicious. I mean, squash is probably one of my favorite vegetables of all time. So. This is just a really delicious soup and we like to garnish it with olive oil and Parmesan. Here I also wanted to note um, that I mentioned earlier in the video is that yeah, sometimes the Fitbit doesn't get the best readings for sleep. So this is kind of what that looks like. It's not a in-depth breakdown of my sleep performance that night, um, but it still kind of gives you a, like a rough estimate of, of how you did. And moving right along here on to Friday. 
and we got these delicious Biscoff flavored Krispy Kreme donuts. They were so good. Um, I only had one this day, you know, no excuse to eat more than one donut a day when you're trying to lose weight. Let's be real here. Um, and then we had a very small portion left over of cheese sticks and pasta from Pizza Hut. And I decided to make an Alfredo sauce just to kind of make it go a little further. And I want to mention something funny that happened the other day. I was at the store, grocery store, and overheard this guy talking to one of the employees. And the employee was basically explaining to this guy that Alfredo is a cheese sauce, which I, I thought was really funny that this guy didn't realize Alfredo was made with cheese. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I mean, I shouldn't laugh, you know, ignorance is bliss. If you don't know, you don't know. But I was just really wondering while I was overhearing them, I was like, what did this guy think Alfredo was made of? I mean, it is like the un one of the unhealthiest things you could probably eat as far as sauces go, um, you know, compared to marinara. But um, I mean, it's basically cheese, butter, and garlic. But it's super easy to make too, is the point I wanted to make as well is there's no excuse to buy store-bought Alfredo. It's just not good. It's so easy to make and it's a million times better when you make it from scratch, so. And then since our lunch was pretty heavy and had a lot of calories because of that Alfredo sauce, um, had a really, I guess, weird dinner, just of, just some snacks. I mean, I wasn't really that hungry and I didn't want to go over my calories. We still had all these snacks that we had bought from the mall the week before that I hadn't even tried yet. So I was like, you know what, let's just have some snacks for dinner. We're both pretty full still from dinner or from lunch. So, so I guess the point I want to make here is don't always feel like you need to have three square meals a day. I mean, if you're not hungry, you're not hungry. Just have a little something. You don't have to have a huge meal for dinner. And honestly, that should be your lightest meal of the day um, because you don't want to eat a huge meal before you go to bed. You're not going to sleep as well. It's not as great for your digestion. So we just opted for some, some snacks for dinner this night. And Saturday, last day of the week, um, had another amazing donut and leftover squash soup and cheesy bread pudding and homemade sesame chicken with my new wok that I got for Christmas. And I have to say, I mean, not to toot my own horn here, but this is like some of the best sesame chicken I've ever had in my life. I mean, I will say there's been a few times in my life where I can say the best something that I had, I made, um, like the best strawberry jam I ever had in my life, I made. Super, super simple. It's three ingredients. Didn't even use pectin. It was literally just lemon juice, strawberries, and sugar that I let sit in the fridge for a few days and then just cooked it down. So easy. You don't even need the pectin, at least for that one. I, I'm not going to say I know how to make jam. Super great. I've only made it a few times, but definitely the best that I have ever had. And the sesame chicken was really good. One thing I will say here, the best way, if you're trying to make any fried thing, I know well, maybe not every fried thing, but like fried chicken, definitely a way to make it crispier is to do flour and cornstarch. Cornstarch is going to make it crispier. So pro tip, if you're making, you know, fried chicken from home, um, you know, with a batter of any kind of batter like that, that you're breading something in, definitely use cornstarch. And moving on to the fitness portion of the video. Um, here I'm doing the same exercises I've been doing the last few weeks of uh, weight resistance exercises. I'll include the links below um, in the description again, just so you have those. Also, speaking of um, what I'm linking below in the description, I just wanted to shout out Brianna Rusk, uh, who helped me do my makeup for this video. Um, I went to do my hair, got my hair done at Ulta recently and she did my makeup and it looks amazing. So shout out to her. Um, I'll include her TikTok handle in the description if you wanna check her out. Do not weigh yourself every day. It'll drive you crazy. I try to stick to at the end of the week and that day for me is Sunday just 
based on how I'm tracking things. I also sometimes like to weigh myself on Wednesday, so in the middle of the week, just to kind of see how I'm doing and to see if maybe I need a little more focus before the last three days of the week. Um, so I can get to that end goal every week, which is about a few pounds. So there's also so many things that are gonna fluctuate your weight. Um, you know, just from the sodium intake you had one day, you might retain more water the next day. Uh, also doing a heavy, intense workout one day can make you weigh a little more the next day because your body's also retaining water. So there's a lot of factors for us women out there. That time of the month can also fluctuate your weight. So don't be obsessed with the number on the scale and weighing yourself every day. You will drive yourself nuts. I've been there, done that. And at the end of the day, yeah, we're trying to lose weight here, but it shouldn't all be about the numbers. It should be about how you feel. Are your clothes fitting better? Are you feeling better? Are you sleeping better? That's how you know that you are making progress. It doesn't always come down to that number on the scale. All right, you guys, it is time to reveal just how much I lost this week. But before I reveal this, I encourage you to comment down below how much do you think I lost? I ate Pizza Hut, I ate donuts. Uh, you saw exactly what my calories were for the entire week, what I ate, um, I worked out. So if this logic that I am <laughs> trying to portray here is true, it would be that I lost weight, right? At least a couple pounds. I mean, I have a calorie deficit working out 2.8 pounds. Yeah, it's true. You can still eat the food you love, just not in excess, monitor your calorie intake and work out and you can still lose weight. I had pizza and donuts this week and I still lost almost three pounds. It's awesome. Now, of course, this is a little less than the last two weeks, but I felt satiated. I ate delicious food. I moved my body and I lost weight because that's all I'm trying to portray here on this channel is you don't have to be on a crazy restrictive diet and you don't have to do P90X either. I mean, it was some weight resistance exercises from the comfort of my bedroom and uh, walking on the treadmill at a decent pace. That's, that's all it takes. Um, now, of course, as we move along here, as I lose more weight, uh, my body will get acclimated to the exercise I'm doing and I might have to be a little more restrictive. Um, I do have a plan to decrease my calorie intake maybe every few months by 100 calories because it is gonna get harder as you drop more and more weight. You're gonna have to be a little more strict on certain things, but you can still lose weight and eat delicious food. That's the point I'm trying to get here. Just make sure you're monitoring your calories and moving your body. All right, you guys, that is a wrap for week three. And what a great start to the year. I've already lost, what, 14 pounds this year? And I've had a ton of delicious food. I've eaten out quite a bit for three weeks. Um, you know, I'm also obviously eating healthy things as well. But a uh, big thing is just tracking those calories and working out. That's really all there is to it. Now, of course, I know my weight loss will slow down as time goes on. There will be times I'm lacking motivation knowing me. Um, it is a struggle, you know, having food addiction, and being a pretty lazy person my whole life, it's hard not to get back into those habits. But no matter what, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. I'm gonna keep making these videos and holding myself accountable. And I just hope I'm motivating someone out there to do the same because being overweight is so unhealthy, especially when you're 200 plus pounds and you're 5'4". I mean, yeah, it's, it's not good. So I'm feeling a lot better already just from working out and from losing the weight that I've lost. So there's just really no reason not to go after those weight loss dreams, you know, get to those goals. Um, of course, you know, I wanna feel sexier and more confident in the clothes that I wear and just loving my body more. But at the end of the day, it's about getting healthy. So I'm just very excited for the weeks to come and thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care. Oh, you're making me dinner? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying. What are you making? Well, it's Alfredo. It's supposed to be Alfredo. I just can't get it right and feel like I'm missing something. I mean, I tried a few different things, so I tried mustard. It didn't work very well. 
I mean, I tried to kind of balance that out though with a little bit of soy. So I'm pretty sure that's like the base of, uh, of Alfredo. I think it's like a soy-based sauce. Started in Japan. Us, us Italians, we stole it. I don't think soy sauce goes in Alfredo. It's a soy-based sauce. So it's Alfredo. Alfredo. Oh, it, it is, is it? Yeah, it says soy Fredo. <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. why that's where it comes from. Okay. It comes from an old Japanese term. <laughs> to simmer in soy. Ah. I never knew that. Yeah. But, like, I mean, you think you should try something else? Cadbury is freshly laid. Add a little, little something to it, a little spice. Something tells me that's not how you make Alfredo. Or how so? Uh, 